please. Allow me to show you something. Good morning. How are you guys? Today is Wednesday, August the 10th. I have a new device, gadget. Zoe graciously blessed us with a Dolce Gusto coffee machine. Recently, I have really been enjoying my matcha tea because usually I would need to take a nap during the day and I've realized, except for this past week, from since I started drinking the matcha tea, I have not been napping during the day. But this week, I put that on being a little tired from last week and all the activities. I'll do the coffee, but I still wanna do my matcha because I've been enjoying that. Anyway, because we got that machine, we needed to go get some coffee pods. Um, there's a place that we went to. It's Kapsu Cafe or the name is Vito, Vito something. And when we went in, we said, well, we wanted the pods for the Dolce Gusto. Now, all pods are not the same, so you need to buy the specific pods for whichever machine you have. So, it has an Nespresso, which is also a Nescafe type machine, but the pods won't work together. So, you can't use like the Nes Nespresso in the Dolce Gusto, and I can't use the Dolce Gusto in the Nespresso. Anyway, we got some different flavors well yeah flavors to try and these are not the nescafe brand they are off brand but they are compatible pods so as that is what barry got we tried this by zoe and barry liked it it's a pistachio flavored coffee and this is by the brand dolce vita so these are the cafe al pistachio and this comes with 16 pods then bar is obsessed with this black death coffee so it's a very very strong coffee i would not be drinking this and then for me i got this maxi caramelletto meaning maximum caramel so it should be sweet and the one that i made this morning was this one the one darker this is intense but it's supposed to be like creamy but it's not really sweet on its own they give a breakdown of their coffee here so the corpo body they give it four to four the sweetness they give it two out of four the aroma they give it four to four the intensity they give it four to four so it's not really sweet but body intensity everything yeah but it is like it has a creamy flavor to it but it is intense also i popped into h&m because barry wanted something um wanted me to look for something i didn't say anything for him but i saw things for me i got these two cute tops look at this top so cute this was on sale for five euro originally 15 euro this is so cute and this it's similar but just like a difference kind of style and color this was eight euro originally 20 euro Also, y'all, I should update y'all like today one time. Yeah, so we got back from Naples on the 1st of August. And then for the weekend, we went to visit Zoe. <laughs> Nah, that's not bad. Yeah. On base, they kind of organized a Caribbean night. So they did it where people could experience a uh, taste of the Caribbean. So different people, well, from Caribbean or with Caribbean heritage, brought different foods, 
So Zoe did macaroni pie, stew pork, and dumpling. Then there was a lady with some Guyanese heritage, so she did um, chicken curry, so earlier. I finally got to taste this um, chicken curry, but honestly, it did taste good, but I did not taste the curry in it, so I don't think it was 100% chicken curry, but yeah. They had a DJ, they tried to play soca. No, the DJ didn't know anything about soca and thing before, so so we had to brief him. He did try, but it wasn't the vibe you would have want, but he tried, he tried, he tried. <laughs> So that was fun and then bar got me a rubik's cube i've always like anytime i see a rubik's cube i'll like i'll play with it and you know try to see if i could figure it out so bar surprised surprised me with my own rubik's cube for my birthday Guys, I solved my first Rubik cube. I was so happy. Um, so like the first two rows, like these two rows are the easiest. The challenging part is kind of like to the top, but I did it. So I solved it. All the sides, everything. And now I'm gonna scramble it again and sometime when i feel to do it again i'll share the process with you guys i re-scrambled it and i'll solve it again another day today i think today is the 20th of august i'm trying to do this august vlog but i don't know how it just piecing together so today we went to bergamo so that will be a separate video we are in chita alta but we went to bergamo which is a city that is about 45 minutes away from milan and yeah back in milan annual like this is my first time experiencing it like milan is dead dead in the for the august vacation because that's when yeah that's when a lot of people who are living in the city take vacation to go back home which are other like small italian towns or cities so milan is like almost a ghost town in august this right here is what Milan looks like in August. So Kyozo means closed. And you know, they're happy to say that they're on vacation. Look at this. They're putting up their beach chairs. They're letting you know pharmacies, clothes stores, food places closed. When it comes to vacation, they do not play. Being in Bergamo, it was I was like, I wasn't expecting to see so many people here. All these trams. Yeah. So yeah, I was shocked to see like that there were so many people, but it was a really nice getaway out of like the city city um of Milan. It was like more suburban type vibes, so it was really nice. Hello, today is the 30th of August. I finally got to do the update for my sugar wax. The last time I did the sugar wax, it was either the second to last or the last week in July. So that is just over a month since I did that sugar wax. And this is how my underarms are looking. This is probably like two weeks. What you'll get, two weeks in shaving. Very thin, not looking too bad. This is the other side. 
It's a little longer than what I would have wanted, but we can live with that. Again, use any noodle sugar wax, and this is how much I would have used to whip, like my legs, underarm, and Brazilian. It smells like honey, like right now. We can see the consistency is looking a bit different. For sure, I need to warm it up. So I'm just going to warm it up for 15 seconds, and I'll be back. And we know these steps. Wipe the underarm, get rid of any sweats, oils, run in with the powder. Let's see if this works. It's starting to look like a um a caramel toffee. Definitely not the same issue as the last time with all that blood. Hello, today is August 31st, so again, happy independence. If you didn't see the video I posted yesterday um, with everything I missed about Trinidad celebrating our 60th independence, then you can go ahead and check it out. But while I was in this video, I realized that I didn't close it off. My battery died and I never reached back. Even though the consistency changed, it was still able to do the job as your soul, so yeah. That was August basically um a few things that i just captured a little bit of if you all have seen some of my previous italy vlogs um i show that there is the street markets that come out on particular days there's the saturday market but um on thursdays there are also street markets in certain places and i was out and i noticed that there was one and i walked through and you know, i've been looking for planting since the weather began to get warm but i wasn't seeing it i went to the market and i finally found it so this week, yo, we had plants in like three days straight. We also got okra. So when we make our kaladu, one, we make it with spinach, but two, we don't have okra. Tell me, first of all, tell me, do you need okra in your spinach? Like, you don't really need it, but tell me how you feel about it. But anyway, so again, when it's warm, you can find okra. So we found okra. So we made some kaladu. So again, we had kaladu this whole week. <laughs> that was beautiful what else i do not think so oh yes i don't have footage but uh saturday morning we ended up getting up well i don't really get up early but both of us happened to be up early so we said you know we'd go out for breakfast and we can't have breakfast this, this and the place that we were by was right by the um metro station and we were just like let's go to monza and if you don't know monza is the city which we got married and i i don't think i shared the entire story I gave bits of it but yeah so we ended up getting married in Monza and we were just there for like the like the wedding um but just being there for that little while we kind of like fell in love with it we've been wanting to visit and so yeah it's just like 20-25 minutes away from Milan and yeah we had a nice day clearly I didn't plan to vlog so I didn't I didn't even well I don't have a phone that's that's the next thing um, I'm using this 6S right now because my phone screen is going through so I need to fix that but anyway so I didn't even vlog on my phone or anything but it was a really nice day um, Monza is really nice we, we are in love with Monza I'm going to be taking another trip again so I'll probably vlog that one and yeah that's it y'all I tried I tried to put this video together tell me if you like this style like do you mind a style like this did you enjoy it um comment below let me know thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit the like button subscribe happy girl gets to 1000 subscribers and i'll see you in the next one